Hello dear gamers, Yorkfield here and today we are back for the 5th episode of Tokyo School Life. So in the previous episode, you probably remember what happened, um, Karin became a male lover, she wanted to put mayonnaise on everything in the whole universe, and in the next episode, the 4th one, Aoi invited me into a non-violent karate club. So let's see how in this episode everything will turn out. I hope it's not going to be a mess. Maybe it will make me laugh, who knows, because in the last four episodes I did laugh a lot in this game. So yeah, let's get right into the fifth episode of TSL. One week has passed since I came to Japan. Every day in Japan is a series of surprises. These are turbulent yet fun days. My lifestyle here at Tomoe Dormitory has started to feel ordinary. Gochisama, okay. Aoi, your cooking was great as usual. Alright, time to give it, give it my all and get going. Karin gobbled up her breakfast while hardly even chewing. It's still early, but she's already about to leave. Karin, you sure have a lot of early mornings and late nights. Got some special errands or something? Mm. It's a secret, okay? Keeping secrets from your family? I say jokingly. It's because your family, got it? Yeah. Karin leaves me with that confusing answer as she gets up from her seat. She quickly gets ready to go out. Karin-chan, do you have your wallet? It's in my purse. What about hand a handkerchief? I've never heard of that word before, guys. Is your phone charged? Don't forget to bring a kasa. Kasa means an umbrella, by the way. Man, I have everything, okay? I'm a high schooler now, so you don't have to worry so much. What are you? My mom? Yup, yup. I always actually pretty much in mom more right now. <laughs> mom mode! Mom mode, okay? That's something that I've never heard of before. Also, what about your mayonnaise? I knew it! I freaking knew it! Oh, damn! I was about to forget one of my daily essentials. Aoi, thank you! Love ya! I freaking knew it! She was about to forget her freaking mayonnaise! Holy crap! No, 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 no. Why is mayonnaise one of your daily essentials? This is weird, right? It's not normal, right? Oops. What's all that noise? I got a little too excited with my comeback and my hand slipped. Sorry, I broke a, a rice bowl. What? Okay, let me move the cursor away a little bit. We're out in Okawa for some shopping. In addition to a replacement for the broken rice bowl, we're gonna buy the daily essential I'll need while I'm in Japan for the next two months. We enter a department store near the station. I look over the map of the store. Um, daily necessities are on the fifth floor, right? While riding the escalator, I really pull strong, strongly on my sleeve. I turn around and a man is shooting angry glances at me. Huh? Did I do something wrong? Yorkfield, come to the left side. Leave the right side open. Oh, okay. I tag along with Aoi and jump myself into the left side of the escalator. The man slips by me and walks up the escalator. I see. You leave one side open so people can walk up, right? Very logical. And honestly, I don't see what the big rush is. So, now that you mention it, I have heard that the custom of leaving one side of the escalator open is only practiced in Japan. While discussing this, we reach the fifth floor where they sell daily necessities. 
It's very bright and there's lots of shelves and tall as me lined up. The shelves for the food where are right in front of us as we get off the escalator. Subarashi! A rice bowl is just that, a bowl for the Japanese staple, rice. There's cup sculpted out of porcelain, porcelain and just about the size of pounds with two hands cupped together. There's a wide variety, variety sorry, of designs lined up, from cute to artistic. We work field, which one do you want? Hmm, this one seems nice and sturdy, but that one's looking pretty sharp too. Up until now, I was using a rice bowl for guests, but now I'm gonna buy one for myself using my own money, so I gotta make sure I choose one I really like. Today, we're shopping for you, Yorkfield. Take all the time you decide you'd like to decide. Hmm. Hmm. Taking full advantage of Sakura's offer, the minutes tick as I narrow down my selection. I've decided I'll get this one. I was really torn, but in the end, I chose a thick rice bowl with a black luster. <laughs> oh, very cool! Right, right. This white brush stroke pattern looks raw as a, at first glance, but it's actually masculine and cool. Okay then, wait a second. Ayoi takes the rice bowl from me and heads toward the cash register. Huh? I'm the one who broke it, so I'll pay for it with my own money. It's okay, it's okay. Ayoi won't listen to my arguments and she finishes paying. She has the bowl wrapped up like a pretty present. This is... At Tomoe Dometry, we each have our own rice bowls, so when a new member joins, it's customary to give them a rice bowl as a present. Yorkfield, you're, on, you're only gonna be here for two months, but you broke one already, so you we might as well get one for you. Think of this as a present from all three of us. Oh, what should I do? I'm so happy! Thanks! I'll treasure it! I definitely won't break it this time. I'm so moved, I hugged the package. <laughs> That's what I would do probably if I get a present that I, I love, like extremely love. So, does this mean the rice bowls you guys use are ones you picked out? Yeah, exactly. To match my name, I chose one with the Sakura flower petal design. Sakura's name comes from the national flower of Japan, cherry blossoms, or as they say in Japan, Sakura. In Japan, they love sakura and plant nothing but sakura trees along some roads. I heard it's really amazing in spring when they all bloom at once. I'd love to see it someday. I'm basically saying the same thing to you guys right now. Like, I'm just reading the text over here, but I'm also re saying the same thing to all of you guys. Because I'm feeling the exact same... Um, I'm feeling exactly the same as the guy in this game, you know? Addicted to Japan, being an extreme weebo and all of that. Yeah, and Karin's has a cat design, right? The other day she was freaking out about the cute cats on TV, so it makes sense. Mine the Tanuki, they're so chubby and cute. Holy cow, her eyes are now shining. Ayoi's eyes are now shining. Wow, that's cool. Huh, Tanuki, huh? Tanuki? What's a Tanuki? Ah, okay. What? A Tanuki is a Tanuki? Don't you know your field? The animal that's on my hairpin. Not gonna lie, it reminds me a little bit of Animal Crossing. Huh? I thought that was just a fat dog. <laughs> tanuki are called raccoon dogs in English. Oh, so tanuki means raccoon dog. 
I know what they are then. I saw them on TV before. Tanuki is so strange. Are Tanuki that rare? Sometimes I see them come down from the hill behind the shrine. What? Really? Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I think I've seen something like that in anime before. Raccoon Dog will be translated into Japanese as Araigma Kent. Araigma and Inn are different animals that have been named in the name of the other animals. It's not a real animal in English, but it's not a real animal in English. Its English name is just a combination of two other animal names, so it's probably not a native species of any English-speaking countries. Wow, okay. I'm gonna look this up on Newipedia. I take my phone out of my coat pocket. I know we in Sakura follow along and look it up on their phones too. This department store has Wi-Fi. That helps. When I go to log in on the Wi-Fi, it shows the homepage of the department store. My eyes are glued onto a certain link on that page. Tanuki was originally the capital of the Japanese 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 well, I guess it could be pretty surprising if something you thought is well known is actually really a minor on the worldwide scale. However, I'm thinking about something totally unrelated. Hey, hey, Ayui, Sakura, look at this. What's the matter, Yorkfield? An idol is coming here soon. She's gonna do a gorilla concert. Oh. Wow, you're filled. You're interested in idols and stuff like that? Of course! Japanese idol culture is really interesting! Yeah, especially vocal aids like Hatsune Miku. It's extremely interesting! In my country, pop singers are stylish artists, but they're totally different from J-pop idols. Idols have their own subculture, and there are many differences in each region. It's really chaotic. Who's coming today? Wow, it says she she's an idol from here in Okawa. <laughs> Hey, Sakura-chan, could this be... I think the chances are fairly high. Oh, the concert's gonna start soon. It says they're gonna do it on a roof. Let's go! Oh my god, an idol. I would really love to see that in real life. Wow! The atmosphere on the roof of the department store feels like the excitement before a festival. This is a sudden unannounced concert called a Gorilla Concert, but there's still about 50 spectators gathered despite their short notice. A lot of them seem to just be onlookers who want to see what the fuss is about, but among among them there is a group of enthusiastic fans getting ready to cheer. We're here even though she said not to come. Well, we still don't know for sure. Huh? Sakura and Ayoi, you guys have been acting strange. Of the people gathered, the ones who stand out the most are a group of about 10 men who are wearing matching red happy coats. A man wearing glasses who seems to be their leader shouts out. Listen up, you guys better not do anything to bring Karin Chan's Costa down, got it? What? Wow, the idol coming today is named Karin-chan, what a coincidence! So, so that Yeah? Karin-san, <laughs> Oh, Karin-san, I'm sorry! Hey, hey, hey! Are you guys Karin-chan's fans too? I'm so happy a foreigner's here to see her, thanks! I saw on the homepage it said an idol will go do a gorilla concert, so I thought it sounded fun and came to check it out. Man, you're good at Japanese. Karin's a great singer, plus her dancing is on point. She's just the best. If you just see her once, you'll definitely become fans. Wow, I'm looking forward to it. During the concert, we do calls and otagi, so if you want, join in. Oh, here's a glow stick. The leader pulls some long thin sticks from the bag and he, his feet are and hands them to us. If you bend it like this, it pops and then glows. 
when the concert starts, cheer her on by waving it, okay? Instead of just listening, you can become one with the crowd. Have fun! The leader smiles brilliantly, brilliant, brilliantly and goes into the distance. Wow, I'm really looking forward to this now. I'm getting excited. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. So exciting. But my heart is in pain. Aoi-san, this can only be chalked up to an act of God. At this point, our only duty is to cheer as best as we can. Yeah, I don't really get what you guys are saying, but yeah, let's cheer as well, as best as we can. Oh, a concert? I'm really excited about concerts, guys. And so the concert begins. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for waiting. Today, we'll give a warm welcome for the angel from Okawa who will spread her wings across the world, our idol, Yayoi Karin-san. Hi everyone, I'm so thankful that many of you gathered for this sudden concert. I'm your idol, Yayoi Karin. Not gonna lie, she looks pretty revealing. Karin-chan! Huh? Huh? W what? Huh? That's Karin, isn't it? I instantly turn around and Ayo and Sakura have four smiles. Today is just way too hot, isn't it? So let's blow away all that heat. Karin looks at me and her face freezes. Oh, she's glaring. She's really glaring right at me. I don't know why, but I can tell she's gonna be angry at me later. <laughs> Let's work a sweat big enough to cool down all that heat. The first song is Moe to Love You! Oh, I think that's the song in the intro of the game. She recovered! What a pro! She's got the guts of a pro. And easygoing intro plays. Kenny taps her foot along with the rhythm. The group of men in red happy coats near the front of the audience sway along with the rhythm. Kadin's sweet singing voice flies from the speakers. Her voice passes through my ears and jolts my brain. Kadin does a big jump in the air. She makes use of the entire stage by walking around it from left to right. While doing complicated sets, she jumps around about on her flexible limbs. Unlike the pop style of the song, her dance is intense. I'm instantly drawn into her performance. Karin, you! Karin, you! The guys in red happy coats are calling out people who are clapping in threes. That, that's Otagi? Karin, you! Karin, you! I was bewildered at first, but at, at, uh, all the first time, spectators slowly start to copy their movements and get into it. The first song ends, and the song then on to the next. This one, unlike the other, is a sporty song with high tempo. The voltage of the performance ends up, and the sense of unity from the crowd is overwhelming. We overcome the boundaries of gender, age, and race, on, and all become one. The girl on stage is definitely Karim, but she's different from the usual Karim. She's like a shining star, a big star in the middle of everyone, lighting up the world. Forgetting about the time passing, we jump, hop, and raise our voices. Okie dokie. Phew! We, we meet up in a park near the station. My body is completely out of energy, and yet this alert lethargy somehow feels good. Karin, she was amazing! Subarashi! So cool! Hi! Yes. After the concert finished, Karin messaged us on our phones. She said she wanted to talk to us at the park near the station. That's where we are now. As I reminisce about the memories of the concert, our star finally arrives. You guys. Oh, it's the first time I see Karin wearing glasses. Like, look at the mouse. <laughs> 
just like me. <laughs> Karin, you're an idol. That's amazing. I'm so moved. Oh, and Aoi's eye is shining again. Karin chan, you were so cool. Karin san, good job. I said not to come so many times, didn't I? I was so surprised when I saw you guys. Why didn't you listen to what I said? What? All three of us receive a dose of Karin's rage. Okay, I hope she's not gonna yell at me or something like that. Man, no way. I told you not to come. Are you sure? Completely changing gears after raging on us, Kadin calms down and starts sniffing with tears in, in her eyes. Aww. Uh, could it be? Ayui Sakura? You guys also never saw Kadin perform before? The two of them nod in acknowledgement. What? There's nothing embarrassing about it, right? So you should have come to watch her. It throws me off. I can't feel too much at home. Or I get too relaxed and then I'll be in trouble. Can't feel too much at home? To me, Tomoe Dormitory is a home where I can feel safe. When I see your faces, I lose my edge and I'm not the invisible idol Yayoi Karin anymore. Karin looks embarrassed as she speaks. I'm still just an egg waiting to hatch into a real idol. I have decided I didn't want my family to see me until I can fill up a big venue. But, but Karin-chan, you were really, really cool. I got shivers right down to my core. It's true that there may be situations where you don't want your family involved. However, I'm glad I was able to see your work today. Because now I know another wonderful side of you, Karin-san. Well, that? You won't get anything by flattering me, you know? Look, Karin's getting embarrassed. You seem happy. Shut up! So, Yorkville, what did you think? Huh? Listen, I'm asking what you thought about my concert, but don't get the wrong idea, it's just for the future reference. Okay, um... It was really cool! Oh, it was just so cool, your dancing was so precise, I couldn't, just couldn't keep when still when I was watching you. Really? We... Well, sounds like you did pretty well for a first timer. I do really try hard on my dance practice. Yeah, you couldn't dance like that on just talent alone. I can tell she put a ton of effort into it. Anyway, you were fantastic up on stage. You were sparkling and poised and gave dreams to everyone. You were so charming, I almost couldn't recognize you. So you're saying I'm usually not charming? No, that's not it. I know, I'm just kidding. I'm the one who said I don't want the way I'm on stage to be like how I am at home in the first place. Karin laughs and sighs deeply. 
見られちゃったか。You guys really saw me. あ、あの、カリンちゃん、これからもたまに見に行ってもいいかな。あ、um,、カリンちゃん、is it okay if we go see you now and then from now on? もし、カリンさんのご迷惑でなければなのですが、よろしければ、私も。If it's not a bother to you, I'd also like to. Ah, more. So, not all shy. Oh, don't give me those puppy dog eyes. Fine, you can come once in a while. Just let me know ahead of time so I can mentally prefer myself. Yay, alright. いやありがとうございます。Thanks so much. そういや、あんた。おたげの振り付けが点でなっちゃいなかったわよ。どうせやるならもうちょいちゃんとやりなさいよね。By the way, your field, your otage was all over the place. If you're gonna do it, do it right, okay? What? Really? Okay, I'm gonna research videos on mine for next time. えあんた、また来るつもりなの ?What? You mean you're gonna come again? What? Do me me. I'm a member of t o m i d o m i t r y too, aren't I? Everyone smiles as she teases me. Karin chan, I'm so sorry. 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 Karin chan, really good work today. You must be hungry. I bought a bunch of stuff at the convenience. Want some? Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. 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 Oh man, Ayoi, you're so thoughtful. You're the best, cutie. How about you just marry me or. <laughs> you just married me! <laughs> Holy crap, Karin, I think you're overreacting a little bit. Karin chan ga ichi ni mai no idol ni na te, boku no koto yashinatte kurele yo ni na ta ra kangae yo kana. Hmm, maybe if you become a famous enough idol to provide for me, I'll think about it. What? I gotta work hard for real then? After we put the bread and onigiri from the convenience store on the planes, we bought and have a little party. Karin, as always, puts her personal mayonnaise on everything that goes into her mouth. I'm kinda scared of going used to this spectacle. But man, it was such a mystery to. To me, how Karin eats so much yet retains her slim figure, but after seeing her concert, I get it now. Karin must burn off these calories easily with her concerts and training. She takes a rice cracker out of a bag and piles a mayo on mountain top. Huh? Huh? What? You want some? Uh, no. Karin takes the mayo laden cracker and cra cracks it in half. She reaches out, offering it to me. Huh? Hmm. Thanks? Hmm, the soy sauce flavored cracker actually goes well with the mayonnaise. I hate to admit it, but this is pretty good. Someday I'm gonna be at the top. Yeah. I'm Oh, sorry. I'm gonna do an awesome concert that leaves a mark on the history among the best in the world. Well. When that time comes, I'll tell you come. Look forward to it. I learned something today. Karin gets angry and moody and quickly resorts to violence. But she's cute, stylish, and absolutely the coolest girl. Karin chan, what do you want? You are so cool. Again? You told me enough already. But you really were cool and amazing. Yeah, yeah, thanks. It was really unlike me to get so excited. Karin san, your performance was just that great. Ah,、uh, what the deal? I'm happy but embarrassed too. It feels weird to hear my family praising me so much. Oh, yeah, Sakura, I saw you jumping around a lot. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, but could you really see me from the stage? Of course I could. If I'm not supposed to look at the face of each and every fan, what else am I gonna look at? Wow, so, sounds kinda cool. What a great performance as always. By the way, why'd you guys show up all of a sudden? Your field son broke a rice bowl, so we need to get him a new one. 
We all went shopping together. Oh, yeah, I remember that from this morning. I guess it's my fault from being careless. Of course, that's where you'd go shopping around here. Oh, so you guys brought a new rice bowl for him? Let me help pay for it. How much was it? You can just pay me back tomorrow. Okay, will do. So, what's his new rice bowl look like? It has black glaze with a brush mark parted on it. It's made in a very simplistic yet tasteful style. Ah, sounds just like his type. It was cool looking. Yorkfield son has good taste. Anyway, I guess he's an official family member of Tomoe Dumitri now. He wasn't already? You know, when I first got my rice bowl, it made me realize that I was part of the family. That's true. I still vividly remember how happy I felt too. Yeah. Karin-san, do you feel like you can accept his presence? Um, well, he's not a bad guy, I guess so. Good. Alright guys, we have reached the end of this video. We will maybe be back in part 6 of Tokyo School Life. Or maybe another video that is not a video of TSL. So, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, take care, and remember, life is a game with many games to choose from. Peace, bye!